uh, 67 ambhasi so pratipadikam is ambhas correct pratipadikam is sakaranta and sakaranta uh, pumlinga uh, sakaranta i think it is napumsakam okay you may want to check napumsakam okay, mm. okay. Uh, uh, verse 68 uh, the first line uh, tasmad yasya so the yasya is this knowledge no, yes, yeah. So, yes, yeah is whose oh, who's Indriyani. Yes, yeah, Indriyani. You have to connect, connect it with Indriyani. Mm -hmm. So, Tasma, therefore, the one whose sense organs, yes, yeah, Indriyani. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, whose sense organs? What kind of sense organs? Nigrihitani Indriyani. So, mm -hmm. one whose so sense organs. So, the second organs, line has. Two Indriyanis, Indri, Indriya words, right? Indriyani, Indriyathebhya. Correct. So the first word is Indriyani, sense organs. Second word is Indriyathebhya. That is the second word. So there the Pratipadikam is Indriyartha. Indriyartha, which means the object of sense organs. On a lighter note, I have... Uh... Questions about my name now. <laughs> oh, questions about your name. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sopna, Sopna. So, so I th we have to reinterpret it. We can't use the uh, Sopna Avastha example, right? We can't use that. So we have to say something like, what one would dream to be? What one would dream to be? That's how I would interpret it. What would, what would one want to be? And it's, it's uh, I, I wish I were like that. So that kind of, that Atma, that I wish this knowledge is so profound and I want that, I wish that. So uh, we have to interpret it like that. Yeah. Dhaniyavada. Good question, yeah. So once, you know, in satsang, so, Swami Tathudanandaji was asked this question. Something about names, I don't know what the question was. And you know what he says, the answer he gives is, you know, people simply give names. They should at least consult somebody who knows all these things. And without consulting, they get all the wiki dicky and all they say. And, uh, you know, it's not good. And like, every word is meaningful. And so without consulting, they ask this, they name like that. They talk, he, he mentioned it. So, because our, uh, our culture is like that. And so, so many words are there. Every word is meaningful. And so, so I think that's the way I would interpret your name, Swapna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Anil Kumar Pugalia. Yeah, in the 69th sloka, there are two words. One is Jagarti and one is Jagrati. So, how are they different? They look similar. <laughs> right. They look similar, but slightly different, right? Jagarti and Jagrati. Two words are not same, right? They're not identical. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, <clears throat> so that that is because the verb is a bit odd. Jagri root. I think it may be second gana. I'm not sure, but it is also latlakara parasmaipadi, like patati patat patataha patanti. Except here it is. Um, here it is what. Ja, jagarti Jagrataha Jagrati. That is how it comes. Okay. You may want to look it up. Okay. So one, one thi is uh, a, a singular, another thi is plural. So which which thi is singular? Let's see. So Tasyam Jagarti Sanyami. Sanyami Jagarti. Sanyami is singular or plural. Seems to be singular only. Singular. Sayami is singular. Yeah, Correct. Singular. So singular. Sayami Jagarti. Right? Um, Sayami. Yeah, Jagarti. So Jagarti has to be singular. Correct. And Bhutani is Jagrati. Uh, then Bhutani Jagrati. Yeah. Correct. So Jagrati is plural. Mm -hmm. So that verb declines like that. Mm -hmm. A bit odd. <clears throat> so something and like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it should be something like this. Uh, Jagarti, Jagrutaha, Jagrati, Jagarshi, Jagrutaha, Jagartha, Jagarmi, Jagrivaha, Jagrimaha. 
something like that it goes mm. okay? okay you can check it out i'll i'll check it up yeah mm. sure and this uh, ambasi so mm. oh okay. it's not kriya padam i was wondering it is like madhyam purusha pratham ek vachanam but it looks like uh, amba like as you said it is a uh, uh, correct so oh. it is why why it is saptami it is saptami correct yeah it is saptami like manasi Hmm. Manas, there, is no, manasi. there is no kriya padam in that sentence vayu uh, vayu hu navam iva ambasi correct there is no kriya padam in that sentence vayu uh, that's why i said it is peculiar usage hmm. just like the, so wind is given boat is given and waters are given now you have to imagine the kriya padam <laughs> <laughs> you have to imagine the verb so the question uh, anil asked is where is the verb in that phrase that verb is not there it's missing so that's a very peculiar you find many usages like that so just like so they will say just like the 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 woman is there and the moon is there and the person is there that means that all that's all kalidas i will say but then what hey just like the woman the person says oh your face is like the moon you know like that you have to imagine that that remaining words in that uh, phrase yeah it's there uh, in the same question in relation sorry i have uh, in relation to ambasi i have yeah. same, uh, one more question mm. um like um, you said ambas is always plural right bahuvachana so yeah. ambasi would be saptami ekavachana right i mean can it still be declined like that yeah it can be declined like that so uh, ambas in the waters in two waters in many waters oh, oh i see okay That's Thank you. Translate that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somebody else had a question. Uh, I was. Raghya, go ahead. That was just that sentence. Sentence. That sentence. That's the hardest program. Right. Too many echoes. Five Navam Vam Basi. Yeah. Can you repeat the question, Raghya? It's not a not a question. I was just following up on what uh, Anil Kumar ji asked. Uh, i was just saying that um, the verb is in the sentence just before that right tadasya harati pragnyam harati is the word verb. good so yeah exactly harati so you can copy and paste that word correct yeah. harati eva since the eva is there the verb can be copied <coughs> eva vayuhu navam ambasi harati eva correct um నాకుంగ్ టు వాట్ పాయింట్ no point says uh, you are explaining the 69th shloka about dream mm. dream is maya matra that's what the brahma sutra one of the things we studied uh, yeah through the formula correct correct so apna maya matra yeah that's fine yeah, that is that is that is correct so here we are using the dream example to uh, the beauty of the dream example is that uh, what we used to think as real we are able to appreciate as unreal that is the beauty of the dream example right anabhi vyakti you cannot express anabhi vyakti swarupatva it says right right swarupatva so yeah so we don't have to get into those technical details here but here the, the dream example can be appreciated so that we can understand the message of the shloka yeah good good point any other questions good so we will uh, stop with that jay kumar ji had uh, shared one uh, youtube narayan here oh uh, yeah go ahead <clears throat> so i had shared one uh, youtube link yesterday a 90 minute talk by dr kamlakar sharma okay uh, very very fascinating talk about where science ends and where bhagavad gita talks about uh, satya yeah yeah important very topic. very fascinating talk he has given he is a doctor mm-hmm. where science ends and philosophy begins i mean that was the essence of the talk 
correct yeah very good good point and uh, and i hope you are also getting that sense in these classes slowly that yeah. that there is a, there is a line that separates science from vedanta correct and uh, science is not opposed yeah, to vedanta this, uh, and vedanta is in addition to what science talks about and it talks uh, using physical physics terminology right it's uh, it's very good i was okay it. okay good yeah important topic so this whole idea of uh, what is science what is the what is the area of science and uh, and often we get carried away by science and we say things like vedanta is scientific mm-hmm. so so we have to understand those words carefully and uh, if we understand the word science then we will not say vedanta is scientific because because vedanta goes beyond science okay and therefore we can't say vedanta is scientific so i hope the speaker i'm sure the speaker would have mentioned that but uh, another day perhaps i'll also try to devote some time on this topic it's an important topic good jay kumar ji yeah ramesh ji go ahead yeah uh, the statement you said about uh, india conquered uh, uh, china culturally for 20 centuries without ever having sent a soldier is said by who chish he was a former ambassador of china to usa ah so yeah who she i think s h i h right yes yes who she H-U. yeah who she correct who she so correct yeah that's that's uh, that's true thank you yeah thanks for reminding uh, us that and also Uh, correct me if i am wrong but uh, isn't the chola dynasty uh, they went into southeast asia yeah so that's the, that's the, that's what like uh, like this like the, what the chinese ambassador said they went to china also it didn't went to china also it didn't went to southeast asia the raja raja chola at his peak he sent 3 4 5 ships ship loads of vedic pandits books and so many things and went to southeast asia okay can you believe this can you believe this king sending sending culture as opposed to army you know army with guns guns and other ammunition that is how it was so now that is why in indonesia and other places they have this uh, so thailand you got mekong mekong river ganga ma ganga and i think indonesia they have they still uh, the currency note i think they still have ganesha uh, in the currency note i think their airline garuda hmm. airline is garuda correct swarna yeah, bhumi right? they seem to be more hindu than us also i think so they practice sanatana dharma i believe even today uh, there was a talk that i had shared where uh, a lady from indonesia was talking about how they still practice sanatana dharma in indonesia even though it is the majority muslim country they still follow even the muslims follow the sanatana dharma there okay okay it was very interesting one of those sangam talks yeah, yeah they yeah. are different type of muslims actually they are if they are different from the rest of the yeah because i have a lot of colleagues from indonesia we have a huge facility there they are quite different Mm. in their attitude and I, i mean i didn't find them very i mean they are religious no doubt but they are not against mm. uh, other cultures or other things that's what i meant yeah uh, yeah a lot of them so they are they maybe they brought it in a different way not like middle east or other places yeah so vidya parasraman she is from uh, jakarta and so she mentioned that also how uh, how they they retain their their hindu names uh, even though they are muslim and then how they are uh, they, they they love their ancestry their hindu ancestry they have a lot of pride in that yeah. etc yeah i have colleagues by name dharmavan satyavati you know but first name is generally tony sara or something like that. they are not 
typical Muslim name. I have not seen a Muhammad Dharmawan or something, but uh, I don't know. The, 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 the name. In fact, some of them I asked, do you really know what your last name means? Nobody knows. So. Correct. Correct. I so. guess that's the difference if you accept the invaders as your ancestors versus the natives as your ancestors, right? Yeah. <laughs> and similar thing in Thailand too. Thailand also a lot of uh, Hindu interesting in, uh, in their culture. You know, they are more Buddhist Thailand. Yeah. yeah, a lot yes. of Hindus. I mean, the, even the new Thailand airport, Bangkok, has got a huge mural on Ramayana. Yeah. And the airport wall. And one airport has that Samudra Manthan. And, I think that's uh, Indonesia, right? Eh? And uh, Varnabhumi uh, Airport or Thailand. Thailand. No, no, this Varnabhumi Airport is Tha Bangkok. 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 Yeah. So that's oh. the thing. So Thailand. So that. Uh, that Samudra Manthan. Right? Yeah, they call her Sukarna Putri, the uh, daughter of Sukarno. So. Correct. 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 And world's biggest uh, temp Hindu temple is in Angkor Wat. Uh, it's a Vishnu temple. Yeah, Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Good. Okay. So we'll stop with that. We'll stop. Yeah. Uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalashahastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trilokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalashahastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trilokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasahastaya Sarva Maya Vinasanaya Trilokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.